name is Tom Garrity. I'm director of the Bloom Legal Clinic. I'm uh, one of the lawyers for Ronald Kitchen. I first got involved in his case in 2000 when I was asked to do so by his uh, then attorney. I've been representing him since uh, since 2000 for nine years, and uh, today, um, thankfully, uh, Ronald has been released from prison. My name is Carolyn Frazier. I'm a clinical assistant professor of law here at the Bloom Legal Clinic in the Children and Family Justice Center. Um, I've been working on Ronald's case for nine years. I first got involved in Ronald's case um, in 2000 when I was a second year law student. I actually went to law school here and was a second year law student in the Bloom Legal Clinic. Tom Garrity was my professor and he had just picked up Ronald's case. Ronald was charged with uh, the murder of five individuals, uh, two adults and three children. Um, the state's theory was that this was vengeance for a drug deal gone bad. Um, the evidence against Ronald was a coerced confession, a uh, tortured confession at the hands of John Burge and his underlings, and a state, a, a, uh, uh, the testimony of a, an informant who um, was totally unreliable and uh, who received benefits from the state, money and uh, early release for, from prison that, was not, that were not disclosed to the defense at the time of Ronald's trial. Over the last nine years, I, Ronald has become my friend, and, and so I felt so happy to watch my friend um, get his life back and, and, and get, you know, I mean, there's, they're really, it's cliche to say, they're just, there are no, you can't, you lose words, you can't find any words, but just to watch him walk out there looking so good with a big smile on his face is just, so beautiful. <laughs> we don't care. Feel good. Feel good. One thing he was asked was, um, you know, basically, how does this make you feel about the system? Does the system work? And, you know, he said, you know, maybe it works for some people. And I think he recognizes that um, there was an incredible, incredible amount of resource put put behind him but I, I think that's his point which I which I completely agree with was that's part of what tells us that the system doesn't work because you know we get we get teased about it almost every time we walk into court you know with the students and then especially today when everybody was present in court you know we're a big gaggle of lawyers but you know what you're looking at there is such an incredible amount of human power 60 students over nine years um, two major law firms, tons of resources from the clinic, um, and most people don't get that. And, and I think that was, that was Ronald's point. So, you know, did the system work for him? Well, maybe it did, but, but that system was not the system that most people get. I believe that eventually something was going to happen as far as just getting out, I felt that it was going to take more time than what it actually took than it actually took now. I, f I believe that uh, it's, it really it didn't f it didn't feel like that I was going to be executed or I was going to spend my life on death row. And I kept the belief and kept the hope up and fought. Thank God for Caroline, Tom, and every student that worked on the case, every student that came out and talked, every student that uh, um, walked the streets and investigated, found out things. I thank God for that because they too gave me the motivation to move on. And we there. We there. And here I am.